I am going to show you how to do ankle cars. So these are very, very slow articular rotations of different joints throughout the body. And today we're going to do the ankle. It's very helpful for people with foot issues, ankle issues, knee issues, because your ankle takes a lot of uh, work on itself when you're on your feet, moving, all those things. So we want to make sure that it's super mobile and you can work in all ranges. If you have a lot of immobility in your ankle, you want to go as far as you can with the rotation without pain. So you go, you push the limit each time, each day that you do it so that each day you're getting a little bit further and that pain-free range of motion will eventually expand as you do it very consistently. So you can do it a bunch of different ways, but I'm going to use a yoga block to prop my leg up so that I have more room to work with. So I'm going to put this underneath my foot, under, or sorry, underneath my calf. We're not moving the calf or the knee. It's all foot moving. So this stays stationary. We're going to flex as much as possible. So we're, we'll start here and trying to leave the toes kind of relaxed. It's the ankle that's working. And we're going to move our foot in and we're going to make the biggest circle we can possibly make coming into a pointed foot then we're coming out to the side flaring it out as much as possible out to the side and you're going so slow and you can do a few rotations in one direction like you're moving through molasses and then you're gonna try the other direction. So start leading with that pinky toe and see which direction, which foot gives you more restriction than the other. So it's, it's very simple, very basic, but you'll notice um, from this angle, some people are gonna have a lot more range of motion on one side versus the other or they're going to try to use their rotate their leg to kind of cheat the movement um, so you want to try, try to limit it to ankle only and get as much movement as you can so that is an ankle car you should try to do it every day especially if you're having any foot issues plantar fasciitis tarsal tunnel syndrome anything like that but also knee issues as well because if you're Ankle's not having good range of motion. The knee is gonna take up some of the slack and it's gonna have a little too much work on it and so on up the chain. So let me know what you think.